We're going to talk about the nasal trumpet. So again, the concept of the nasal trumpet is, is that you could obstruct your airway, right? The mouth could be closed, the tongue could go in the back, you could have big tissues here. So what if you stuck something in that allows air to come in uh, by stenting open the airway? So this is what this does. Now you can go out through the mouth with an oral, uh, oral airway, or here a nasal trumpet, go through the nose and have this open so that you can have this tip right in front of the glottis like this, giving air in. Now, what you'll commonly see as the mistake for the nasal trumpet for some reason, because people think that the air comes up, is they're gonna go in and they think that they need to go up with the nasal trumpet to get it in. You don't go up. Um, you're not putting in a uh, VP shunt, you know, into the uh, one of the ventricles of the brain. What you're doing is to put this in here is you wanna go straight back. So here you go, and you're literally going straight back with it, and that's how you get it. So again, common mistake is you don't go up with this in this direction. You literally go straight back. That's how you go in, and it's gonna go in very nice. That's the same thing for uh, nasogastric tubes, etc. straight back, and that's the placement. Very, very simple, and then you're done.